The temple was the center of worship and witness for the entire old covenant. That God is in heaven and we are on earth and we cannot ascend up to God and Jesus is not yet descended down to us. And so the connecting point between heaven and earth was the temple. It was the temple. And the temple was filled at its center with the presence of the glory of God. And the people of God would come there to worship and to meet with God. And the priests would offer sacrifices so that death could come in the place of sinners that they might experience salvation and removal of God's wrath. And all of this was the foreshadowing of the coming of Jesus who is the presence of God among us, who is the connecting point between heaven and earth, who is our great high priest and who offers his own life as a sacrifice. And what God says is, shut it down. All of the synagogues were connected to the temple. All of the leaders and theologians were taught at the temple. If you shut the temple down, people can't meet with God. People can't atone for sin. People can't connect with their creator. And God says, I'd rather have that. I'd rather have nothing than a vain thing. This is infinitely more significant than God even saying something like, shut down the White House. Shut it down. Lock the doors, everybody out, turn off the lights, unplug everything, we're done. It's infinitely more significant than that. God is saying, I can't even get one guy on the payroll to do what I tell him to do and shut it down. It is not always a grievous thing when a church shuts down. Sometimes it's a grievous thing when a church doesn't shut down. There are about 400,000 Protestant churches in America. 80% are plateaued and declining. 40% are considered very sick near terminal. And every year, 1% close, about 4,000, give or take. Some churches are great and love Jesus. Some are in a struggling season that's gonna make them stronger and flourish, but some just need to be shut down. They are not honoring God with their work. Routine is replaced ritual. It no longer means anything. If... If the leaders are half-hearted, the people are quarter-hearted and their children are hard-hearted. And that's not going to be a legacy. That's going to be a tragedy. And the leaders are not working hard and caring and giving. And people are going to be like their leaders. And God is devastated by the entirety of this system.